that goes to zero so that's another equation now if i sum the force let's say instead of summing the force yeah if we sum the force and let's <coughs> choose the y direction that should also go to zero if I do that, get a thousand, which is going down, plus F E C sine forty five, that's up. Then we have the another force that's twelve fifty that's going up and this should add up to zero. I mean we have this component of this and so that gives us FEC as negative 250 pounds for root 2. That's to be found. Assumption was that's intention. Or it will be 250 root 2. And let's take that in compression. So that gives you the force FEC. I can come back here and I can solve for F. DC. See this and this thing got cancelled and you have negative and you have negative 250 root 2 and then you have 1 over root 2. So it gives you a positive 250 pounds and that remains in tension. So <coughs> we got all the three forces we're looking for. We got the EB is right here, we have EC is right here, and we have DC which is right here. I mean, you could have done, I mean, this is the only way you could handle it. Suppose if I write the moment and we choose point E, if you choose point E, <coughs> the sum the moment is about that point. So on here, <coughs> taking a moment about this point, then this force goes right through this. This force also goes right through this. Same thing with this. This force is going right through this. So <coughs> if I want to write this equation, <coughs> we will have, let's say, F dc, and there will be a distance which is 10 and about that point is uh, counterclockwise, uh, it's clockwise, so you add that. Then you have 1250 times 10 because <coughs> this distance here is 10 feet. <coughs> so you get 1250 times 10, that will be positive, and then you get 1000 times 10, that will be negative and that should go to zero. So this will get cancelled and you get FDC <coughs> as 250 pounds and it came out positive it remains in tension. So this force as I said you can find by a different method or by choosing a different equation. So <coughs> in case of the method of sections the thing you need to follow is you want to pick a section through the members, you want to find the forces. And then you will draw free body of the different parts of the trusses. And the key is that when you pass a section, the two parts have to be independent. I mean, you can't just cut these two members and keep this together. They have to be totally independent. And once you have that, sections, then you could choose, I mean, like I chose this one because it's a lot simpler to work with, but you could have get the same forces by considering this part. When you get exact same magnitudes and directions of the forces if you work with the left part of the truss. <coughs> and we're going to look at one more example. <coughs> 